Is this a dagger which I see before me? A handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat-oppressed brain? I see thee yet, in form as palpable as this which now I draw. Thou marshalst me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools of all the other senses, or else worth all the rest I see thee still. And on thy blade, in dudgeon, gouts of blood which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now we're with the one half where all nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's offerings, and withered murder, alarmed by a sentinel, the wolf, whose howl says watch, thus with his stealthy pace, with Tarquin's ravishing strides towards his design, moves like a ghost. O sure and firm said earth, hear not my steps, which way they walk. Hear thy very stones prate of my whereabout and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. While I threat, he lives, where it's to the heat of deeds too cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven. Or to hell. This scene is one of the most important ones in the play for showing a specific theme, being that evil actions can have heavy mental impacts on those who commit them. The hallucinations of the dagger that Macbeth sees, combined with his dark descriptions of the world being dead and barren, almost makes it seem like he is slowly going insane. Because of this, the two most important lines are, it is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes, because it shows that the prepared murder of Duncan is what is making him see this, not anything else. In a literal sense, he is saying that his plan to murder Duncan and the emotions coming from it are what is making him hallucinate. In a figurative sense, however, it implies that the dagger itself is calling to him and driving him to carry the murder out. In other words, his plan for murder is fueling his plan for murder. The quote also adds to the tone of the scene. The image of a floating dagger guiding him to murder Duncan creates a very dark and foreboding atmosphere reflecting the uncertainty and anxiety that Macbeth feels in this scene. It does a great job at conveying the idea that he is taking a huge, irreversible step in his plan, and the intense mental toll that is associated with something like that. So, if you couldn't tell already, Desmos can be a legitimately powerful tool for animation and editing. I'm not really going to go over any of the specific equations and functions used because... But there are some things that I will go over. The way things are able to move in Desmos comes from making slider variables, which you can set to advance automatically, and in turn make things move. I made and recorded each scene separately and then stitched them all together since it was much easier than having one single full take. Many of the assets, like Macbeth, the Wolf, and the Witches, were all made by taking reference images and tracing over them. Desmos allows you to import images onto graphs, which makes it pretty easy to accurately trace using points. Some of them, like the dagger, doors, and candles, were all made entirely by hand, but many of the more complicated ones were done with images. Gradients, like the shadows on the side and glowing areas, were made by just setting something to a really low opacity and then repeating it. The background music itself was made by me and GarageBand, and all of the video clips were screen recorded and edited together in iMovie. Overall, I'd say this project took about 25 hours, give or take, and I'd say I'm pretty proud of the result. 